And you know you're a professional YouTuber when you keep your mic muted after going into a game session with someone else that you don't turn it back on. Oh, we were getting a massive echo through Twitch and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't me, so I turned mine off and the echo continued and I didn't turn it back on, so all this is here now. And yeah, so this is the world. The world as you know it. Over... Oh, where am I? Over here somewhere. Here is my village. No, it's not. Aha. Uh -huh. This is the mountain that I originally broke the server in the first time. Oh, there's there's nothing there either. Um, Doc Trotter's place is here. Wait, no, it's not. There's a volcano here. Wait, no, it's not. There's a water. No, everything's gone. Yeah, because this is the spirit world, my friends. The spirit world. That's right. So what we've done is I flew around for a while and I was looking for a nice place. I found a couple of good places, but uh, honestly ended up settling in this one because what I always wanted to do is to make a smeltery in a ravine. Now, this top part is not obviously smeltery. Uh, I closed it off because mobs were actually bouncing off. They, they'd fall and go sideways like they were blown by a wind, land, and then fall into my base. I'm like, you, you, you twits, come on. So, anyway, but I've done a ton of work, and uh, sorry you weren't here to see it, yeah. But, um, I, I, I had several nightmares. Oh, you did, yeah, you, nightmares, yeah. So when you come into the spirit world, you have nightmares, which means the sky is completely dark all the time, all the time, and you're constantly hounded by a nightmare, which is this hideous creature. Uh, and actually, I'll land and show you one, so... Uh, boop, boop, boop. I want to be like you, ooh, ooh, little bat, bat man. No, that's not it. Let's do this key. Yes, this key. Where are we at? My bat, 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 bat. Esmeralda, poor thing. Oh, this one. Oh, you can fly too. Sweet. Oh, wee. I want to fly around in the real in the overworld like this and just scare the poop out of people, cause I can. The problem with nightmares is one, they teleport. Two, they have a hundred hit points. Three, you hit them and they become invulnerable for a few seconds. Yeah, invulnerable. Like, oh, I can't feel that at all. Hey, I'm still wearing my hat. I didn't think it would come through. This is the, uh, this is part of my spacesuit. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't access it here in, in this world. So, but nonetheless, so I flew around till I found a place where I said, oh, I'm going to jump down in there. That would be bad. Uh, until I found a place where I could build a smeltery in a ravine because I wanted to have mobs fall into it and just see what I could do with the blood here in the spirit world. There's some things. Um, oh, look, a spirit. Hi, spirit. If you land, I'll kill you and take your stuff. I will. Yes, I come right here. Hi. Hi. How are you? It's the golden snitch. That's what it is. I was going to say it was the golden quidditch, and everybody would be like, God, you're not a Harry Potter fan. And I'm really not. I've never read the books. Never planned to. Neener. But when I came in, it was nighttime all the time, all the time, all the time. And finally, I got a dream. Once I got a, I mean, I mean, I got a yeah, dream instead of a nightmare. Then I was able to get the things I need to make sure that I don't have a nightmare quite as often. At first, it was, uh, yeah, you're having a nightmare. Then I got it down to 50%, and I've gotten it less and less as we go along. But the main thing that I had to come in here for, as, uh, as you find out when you do, is that um, I needed a spinning wheel in this world to make brews of flowing spirit. Because the only place you can get Fanciful Thread, or no, I'm sorry, you get Fanciful Thread in, in the overall. But you make Fanciful Thread. Come on, go back. I won't go back. But to make the brew of Flowing Spirit, you have to throw all these things into a kettle in the spirit world. Which took me two tries to figure out. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I came here, I built all the things, I made all the stuffs, and I've got the brew of Flowing Spirit. I need to make up one more, I believe. Um, and I, cause I used up one, 
So I need to make up one more, and then I can have my bark belt, which is what I've been trying doing all this crap for. And I have to tell you, I don't know why the spirit world is here. It's just you start, you've got nothing. You're naked. If you're in a nightmare, which you probably are, you've got a nightmare chasing you all the time. I'm not going to talk as a bat. That's silly. I just go, wee. Oh, I should land, 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 land. Okay, I almost took damage. That's my dogs. That's my dogs. But the spirit world has nothing you have no armor you have nothing if it was an attack of the b team i don't know how you'd make it the only thing that saved me was having a morph and that's not because you know uh, nightmares can't teleport to you on top of a tree it was because i was one block high and i could dig a hole that he couldn't get to me yeah a hole a hidey hole haha -ha. oh. oh great so very, very rarely. Oh, you know what? I'll just, I'll just do this over here. Video particles decreased. Minimal. Done. Done. Back to game. My bet. So it hardly ever becomes night here when you have a dream. The thunder is still phenomenal about. So you don't ever have night. You don't have any mobs unless you go in and find a spawner. There's nothing walking around. Originally, when I got here from the nightmares, this place was covered in mobs. And I went, yes, well, I'm going to use my smelter. I'm going to put it in the ravine because then I, I use real close. I'll just walk out my front door, basically, snatch up some, you know, ore, as you can see I've done. And then, yeah, stick it straight in the smeltery and do my thing. It was a little bit quieter. It was great. It was great. I thought, shush. I thought I was going to put uh, blood in my smeltery, and I did. I got some blood in there. There's a little blood right there. It's not much, but, you know, it's nearly a bucket. So, yeah, blood, yeah, and then no mobs at all, and mobs sometimes spawn when it's raining. Sometimes spawn when it's raining. Isn't that great? Isn't that great, Woofy? I haven't named him yet because I don't have any slimes, and I'm not going to go find some. But the things you don't have are phenomenal because I need bone meal. No. There's there's no bone meal. There's no bone meal because there's no skeletons. Because there's no bones. Because there's, there's no bones because there's no skeletons. So, yeah. Honk my hooter. That stunk. But eventually I got all this stuff done. Hey, stop it. I mined a... Um, Ooh, not a mind drake, a mandrake. Excuse me. Oh, I was gonna say mind drake. I was I was harvesting a mandrake. Oh, oh, I hear! Yay, we have bad guys finally. Okay, I'm gonna go sit over here and let them come to me while I talk. So yeah, so we had you know bad guys. Oh, we had the mine. I was a uh, mandrake. I was yeah. I got no focus. Get in the hole, scum queen. Yes, you with the. Villager face, die. <laughs> you too. More villagers. Neat. You know what's not? What doesn't exist in this world? Villages. Villagers. Yeah. None. No villages in the overworld. Nada. So, that's fun. Yeah. Nobody to trade with, which is not a big deal. They're jerks anyway. They're horrible trades. But also, no villagers to get carrots from. So, how are you going to breed your pigs. You're not. You're not going to breed your pigs. That's all there's to it. So. But eventually, if you try really hard and spend a lot of time, and remember to record it, and turn your mic on, so that everybody can see all your hard work. Gosh, arrest of present. Stupid mic. And then, if it's, uh, if everything works well, it's all quiet again. Except for the dogs. Always a dog barking. Our cat meowing. Something. Thunder. Ooh, there's bad guys. Spider and a skeleton. So they only come out when it rains, and it rains very, very infrequently. Oh, not skeleton. So it happens, but it's just extremely rare. Extremely. I don't want them to shoot me, and then my dog go attack him, and both of them fall in the hole. Um, oh, leaf. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Ooh, squirrel. Anyway, so I was mining a mandrake, and as you can see from the hole there, I'm cutting a mandrake, mandrake out where that snowbell is, right, that blue plant. And 
boom, lightning hit the stupid mandrake and blew me sky high. Literally, I was up there. It was kind of crazy. Didn't do a great deal of damage, fortunately, because I was um, fairly well protected from damage. But still, what a pain. What a pain. So anyway, this is the spirit realm. It's exactly like the regular realm. Stop it. I think I'll go somewhere else so I don't get hit by lightning. It's exactly like the overworld, except that if you have a nightmare, it's dark forever and you're going to die. Yeah, so that's it. No villagers, no um, no mon mobs spawning really, or no monsters spawning, no, no uh, bad mobs, unless it's raining. It's rained twice since I've gotten here, so that thing, useless waste of time. But boy, it was fun making it. Eh, so, but there's there's everything else that you need pretty much. You can't bring anything into the spirit world. You can't bring really anything of worth out of the spirit world except for like your you know potions of uh, your your brew of flowing spirit and some thread and things like that. It's like what really? Yeah, man. So. Anyway, I've got my blowing, my flowing spirit on. Oh, that's a zombie. Okay. Is there somebody in diamond armor? No, it's a zombie show. So anyway, this is what I've been doing today. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to take care of this so that I can have... Stop it. So that I can get my awesome, wonderful bark belt. Because it broke, grow bark pieces when standing on grass or mycelium. And it grows bark pieces on all of your armor slots that are witchery. Witchery armor. Now, the thing that I'm seeing is that it mitigates a hit. It Not like an armor bonus, but it mitigates a hit. Someone hits you, and let's say they have a wither poker. It's not going to be as effective. Now, why would I want that? Because <laughs> Mr. High Lama's getting uppity. And when I say uppity, I'm saying he tried to kill me the other day. You guys saw it in the video. He was trying to kill me. He was coming at me from behind where I couldn't see him. Yeah, yeah, that was death coming for me. I narrowly avoided his, his horrible, horrible treatment of me. So, nonetheless, we're all good here. Oh, nothing? Nothing. Um, everything's about the same. Cherry tomatoes. I don't know what cherry tomatoes are, but awesome. Put the steak away, put that away. Keep the berries. Yeah, berries and bacon. That's me. Berries and bacon. And I think the storm's gone. No, nope, it's back. You just can't hear it because I turned the rain off. Um, but yeah, realistically, impossible. No, not impossible. Just a pain in the butt. Just a super pain in the butt. I mean, why? why would you go through all this trouble just to get basically a belt? There's got to be something else in here. Got to be. So, nonetheless, I'm going to go back to the overworld now. And i um, going to pick up a... Uh, whatchamacallit? A... Um, a bark belt. And then once I get the bark belt... I'm going to head um, up to the moon. To the moon, Alice! To the moon! Yeah. And then once I get up to the moon, I can build a base there. Ha ha. And then through witchery, I can actually teleport my friends up to the moon with me. Yay! Huh. I hope they have oxygen masks. Ha, ah, and this is one thing I didn't record earlier. That, well, I lost in that other recording. It's not worth overwriting. Clicky face terror. <laughs> I got my tree fit back. I had to actually, uh, had to make a tree fit. Yeah, two more. So, they come in sets of two. Get out of the water, you fool. Anyway, so, I'm going to let him get, get he, he protects us. So, all right, there we go. Night, night, clicky face. I'm going to sleep now. Howdy, folks. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what, guess what, guess what? Haha. Uh -huh. Check it. Check it, check it, check it. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah. So this is how an int feels. Yeah, baby. This is how an int feels. Oh, did you hear that? That was a piece of... There's another one. Wood growing out of me. Look at that. See the armor? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six sticks. 
And I'm assuming that means six pieces of armor that I'm wearing, so that's maybe two for each. I don't have any shoes yet. I've got to, I'm sticking with the exoskeleton shoes for right now because I haven't made any. I don't know what kind of slippers I should wear. Really? Ice slippers? Ruby slippers? Nope. Gotta get some man shoes. But, who knows? Uh, not me. So anyway, yeah, I finally made this bark belt. It was quite difficult. But I did learn a lot, did a lot of stuff, and really figured out a good bit about the spirit world. And as I said just in my last video, I don't know what that place is for other than making a bark belt. But at least I know how to work in there now, so that's a little bit better. So, thought I would show it to you. Now I'm going to go down and check out my auto enchanter. That's right. 